Hi Cancer, welcome to your tarot reading for the week from October 9th through the 16th. It's Rena here, just experimenting with new format. Um, you know, I, from time to time I do different types of readings and um, I'm also using my original Rider Waite deck. Well, it's not the original one, but it's the original type of deck and this is illustrated by Pamela Coleman. Smith. So, and I'm also doing a different type of spread, three pairs, past, present, future. So, whoa, a lot of swords so far. Okay. Now, this light is really weird. I suppose there's a setting where I could alter it, but I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to bother. Okay, so let's look at the past position. We have two cards that are associated with kind of um, upheaval. The Five of Wands and the Knight of Swords. <laughs> it's really in that light. Um, the Five of Wands speaks of conflict, competition, and the Knight of Swords can be someone who is very blunt in speech. If this is a co-worker, uh, you may be having some kind of conflict with others in the workplace and feeling like you have to compete with them in order to get ahead or to maintain your position. and you may be feeling like um, you may be f feeling unsettled to, to put it mildly because there is a sense of what am I you know what is my my place here anymore am I do I have a place and sometimes these situations I think are contrived or they they're created in order to keep people on their toes and um, there may even be some people who are are uh, let go very quickly or reassigned, whatever the case may be, and it feels like things are on, not on solid ground. This, in personal relationships, you could be having conflict with a person who is a knight of swords. Typically, this would be a man under the age of 40 or maybe somebody who is a little bit emotionally immature, um, they may be a fire sign and an air sign, so uh, that combination, and and be very blunt in speech. So I would even think of an Aries person with a moon in Gemini, for instance. But all of those permutations, especially with the with the swords, we're talking about Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I would put my money on Libra with a Cancer person. Um, for the present position, we have the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So you may be tempted to trying to figure things out in a surreptitious way, in a kind of a, a sneaky kind of a way about what's going on around you whether this is an individual that you're involved with. Maybe you were involved with somebody and all of a sudden you're fighting and you're like, something's up. Your intuition is telling you that they must be possibly involved with somebody else. So maybe you're Facebook, I was going to say Facebook stalking them, but not really stalking. You're doing a covert ops on them. Um, also, it could be that you're just very wary. You might even be a bit paranoid if this is the workplace. You might be thinking, oh gosh, am I next? Um, but with the Queen of Swords, there's like this strange peace, this strange detachment. Um, you may be intuitive, but you may not be your typical um, worrywart self for whatever reason. Maybe you've had enough. 
of this dog eat dog environment and you're almost like okay fire me then I'll get unemployment for six months or a year or whatever it is okay I'm that's fine with me maybe you've kind of like surrendered to the situation the outcome is the three of cups which can be a card of celebration and indicating that uh, you have something that is happy that uh, that you are toasting with friends and and that you feel a sense of letting your hair down a sense of relief maybe release it it could possibly be that you are connecting with maybe you're networking and you're trying to find people that you can either uh, find a new new employment with or possibly join forces with to do something on your own and along with that the king of cups so this could be connecting with somebody who's a mentor uh, a counselor type of a person who provides great you know wise counsel and they may be in a position of authority to help you in some way or a source of comfort perhaps even like a father figure a mature water sign if that person is in your life maybe it's a friend even I don't know or family friend they may be under the sign of cancer Scorpio or Pisces perhaps maybe it's a minister um, that you are talking to in order to experience a sense of um, peace in your life as you are dealing with perhaps some kind of um, conflict or unsure circumstances but these are both positive cards so these could um, the king of cups could be a definite person in your life who you can lean on for emotional support and possibly this person may even have the wherewithal to help you uh, I don't know financially or career wise but especially emotionally this person may be of comfort to you so I hope you've enjoyed this cancer I'm, I've been having fun doing these weekly readings if you'd like a private reading please click on the link below otherwise have a great week bye